I feel like this is maybe the one exception because of the Medusa. They're going to be prevented from pushing by a frontline yeah, Medusa with Mana Shield. If you look, burn the Mana Shield, Ma Medusa has to back off. They have Bristler as well. Bristler is also another I hero that spawned the well, game. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you have Shackles net. You yeah, can probably get true. it It's true. They can but... set it up. Fine. Yeah, so what made me say wow is that Fata went for a bottle. So that means the... Oh, okay. Mid lane. Burning caught out. Is the B-God going down first for B-God? He is. C9. They d ward that big camp and then they, they go immediately for the smoke, I think. Maybe something Big God weren't expecting. You see the camp D-Ward's like, okay, they're going to focus on their economy. The past couple of years, like 80, 90% of the Clockwork games he's played have been with the Rocket Flare first. And that Clockwork of Pesky here jumped. on the off lane, but he gets jumped by the net. Now the Chen Creep, uh, or rather the Axe being hexed, but still RTK in a lot of trouble here. He gets brought down by Test of Faith. Lanham could be next. They get off the call. The chop is ready. They get the two kills. Now Xiao Wei, does he turn this one? Or does he too end up falling? He's getting close to the threshold. Fada trying to finish him off. The creeps are blocking wow. away. They zap him down. And Misery ends up surviving on a sliver of HP. One by one. They enter the meat grinder now. Bone 7 finding a fourth he kill here. Off. They can just go farm the enemy woods. They can farm top. They don't need to take this fight. And BG, I don't really feel they can punish it. They're moving like they want to try and take a fight. Maybe looking for a clockwork hook shot. He does hook in, but the wolf body blocks the hook. Misery, the one they were tracking. They had that ward. They had vision of him, but that wolf positioning, just too good. Burning, maybe going to get jumped here. They've got the MP tornado. Tornado thrown out. MP coming through. Cold snap there. He's out of mana, and he's going to get chopped by Fada. Simple. Meanwhile, bottom lane, there's engagement here as Xiaowei gets chased out by Eternal Envy. That's your Bristleback. If he can be run down by the Lycan, that's a real big concern. Eternal Envy diving. He will back off, juking away from that line stun. And they'll try to deal with these wards, uh, but... Oh, they're looking for the Ancients right now. They might get that jump. Does C9 have vision? Yes, they. I believe they do have a ward. And they're going to jump in now. Getting the call, the Tornado coming out. They now try to engage on him. EMP going to be used and burning. Drop slow, will end up getting chopped down. A nice impale coming out, but is it going to be sufficient? Bristleback getting the one counter kill on the Shaman, but they lost their deuce, and at the same time, they lose RTK bottom. EE -E, starting to find more space. They now steal the Ancient stack, and it was a couple of the big creeps still remaining, worming their way through these wards out of the map well. as they can. And now they oh, go in for a call. Burning could be caught out once again. The double TP comes through. EMP Tornado. Tornado not going to connect. Now they stone gaze. Slowing down Fada. He'll try to TP out. Burning wants to get in front of him and turn up the stone, and he will. This could be a very big kill. That's a 500 gold bounty. It goes to the Bristle. Not going for the, the Lincoln Sphere buildup we sometimes see. Not really much the Lincolns would help you with this game. You're still going to get hit by the EMP, the Berserker's Call. Yeah, you could block that initial Hex or Cold Snap, but... He goes for a, a better farming item, and something he could split push with, draw the lanes back a bit. Seems like a nice choice. C9, gonna take this tower down bottom. There's only one outer tower remaining for BG, and... Oh, this is the siege! Okay, I thought they might wait a little bit longer, but... Now, Shaoid has BKB, but there is a lot of physical damage that he has to worry about. They try to go for the ward trap, it seems. Shaoid able to dodge that. The wards will be quickly cleaned up. That may stop the push in its tracks, actually. As the Medusa... Good Tornado EMP! Well, gonna lose most of her mana here, has the stick charges, but probably needs to walk back to the well, which means, see, I do get that high ground positioned in the end. They'll probably bring this tower There's down. no glyph. Radiant glyph not available. Lanham. Trying to hold the line, no blink dagger yet. Ice Blast is coming in, he gets the impale, now the hook shot onto Eternal Envy. They want to burst him quickly and keep him away from the team. It looks like he should be shattering here. The Aegis now pop, Xiaowei being engaged upon, but has the BKB. Very tanky, not an easy target. He immediately got to try more, but he might end up getting... Oh, he gets impaled! He's going to go down a second time! What a disaster for C9! Now the chase is on Bone7, getting mauled by this Bristleback. The chase is forward. Fada trying to back off, but they just don't have a whole lot of damage without that... Lycan, continue to chase, nice net. They just want to get out safely, cut their losses. They've lost the ages. They've lost a lot of momentum here. And they will end up losing most of the Chen army too. And they held the tower. Very impressive. Nine HP. <laughs> Those are out. Yeah. There's also- It looks all... like Ice Ice is indeed getting one as well. Okay, on so he goes for the fourth step. Yeah. Good defensive item with the Medusa especially. She may end up being in the danger zone at times. They get the Blake Call and Bernie to start this. Is this the area you want to go? And the War Trap comes out. Bernie will manage to work his way out of it. He will end up dropping very quickly. At the same time though, Xiaowei going pretty aggressively here. They get the hook shot now. They want to catch these heroes up, pushing Eternal Envy back, but no locked on the finger. Puts him into shadow range, hits up dropping. They lose the Lycan, the Shadow Shot, but as well, the Creep Army in jeopardy, but they did buy back on Burning, so it's a pretty expensive defense in that sense. Still a Lycan for a Duke with a Dusa buyback, and they get the bonus kill. They now farm the wards as well. They did end up, I'm not sure if they denied the tower or just lost it, but either way, tower down now. 
Uh, I think, yeah, they lost it to a Shadow Shaman. Look, the ward. only I counter don't... on the Radiant is BKB Bristle. Do you think that could have worked? Then if you're burning, you definitely consider a BKB. Are they going to contest this Roshan? They are! Lanham goes in! He impales everyone, but the Aegis on the deck, it will go the way of the Lycan. They lose the Lion. They're going to lose a second here. The Aegis Apparition also falling. Now Tus are running the hell away. Stone Gaze, TP out ASAP. Oh my. That was a very bold Roche contest. Yes, they commit a Stone Gaze. Do you think that could have worked? Then if you're burning, you definitely consider a BKB. Uh, they, go. they get the initiation on Xiao Wei here. Does not have the BKB for 25. This mana burn is going to hurt unless they force staff him out. They do manage to keep him alive. Now he comes back in. RTK with the Cox pushing the Turtle Envy back, keeping him a bit out of the fight. He tries to retreat, but the Impale is going to bring him down. It just popped again. BG holding the line without the Medusa ultimate. RTK may fall for this, but Xiao Wei gets into the back lines, being focused by Chen Creeps. C9 can can they actually do it? They're being forced back. Impale on two. Is this happening all over again? Bone seven now popping the cheese. Tries to run. He four steps up to the high ground. That might be where it ends. Although Xiao Wei is hungry for blood. He wants a bit more. He wants that tasty invoker. Trying to drop the ice wall. Goo will come through. I don't think he can chase him at this point. And he will ghost walk out. Land on though. Blinks in. Gets the impale. What a sick play. He's got a hex as well. But can they get the vision? Yes, they have more centuries. centuries. Not going. Oh my. He has a four staff. He's hexed up. He drops real fast to the physical damage. C9 get a kill. Oh, shall but we? Can they convert it? This would be a much bigger one. If they can find this bristle back. They're swinging around like they want to go on him. Bone 7 now has eyes on him. They have a blink call as well. If they can jump and be oh, they got just got vision now with the the ghost walk. It's too late for Shawi to react though. He'll get EMP'd. Focus ice blast coming down too. Now a tornado as well. Shawi completely wrecked as all of C9 surround him and deal with it. One thing, but it's a best of three. If uh -oh. Cloud9 lose Wolves. this game, Shagbark. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Nice snipe there by Eternal I suppose. Yeah, it's still just the fact that Cloud9 do have a hex on Bone 7. So the moment Bristleback gets out of the out of the Bristle or out of the BKB, they can start playing. Oh, Eternal Envy getting caught out completely in the middle of nowhere. He has a BKB, but they finger quickly. He does start to walk away. That's Invis as well. No detection. They'll back off. An AC coming out for your axe. Man, this axe. I, I keep saying it, but his items are just ridiculous. Misery War trapping himself here, but it looks like it might work anyway. Shall we? We'll get. Caught and finished off. Well, that was uh, awkward. Meanwhile, a dunk mid. Cloud9 starting to find the pickoffs. There's a buyback on both heroes. Do they do they manage to slow roll their way in? Now the HF pressure. This could be the critical blow. Three heroes down. And they have yeah, it. Really. They will force staff out that bristle again. And also dodge a call. Now Shari wants to walk in, but he is getting slowed down a lot by the Shiva's guard. They commit a hex to him as well. He continues to muscle forward, wants to kill off these Necro Bulk minions. Hope right now one, the Mjolnir buff on him, doing a lot of work. Meanwhile, top lane though, Shadow Shaman is ratting. As Xiao Wei will engage, the big climactic team fight coming out. EE on the chase, trying to run down Lanham. Can he munch down that lion? He's committing a lot of resources to this kill. He'll get it, but meanwhile, his back lines are being worked on. RTK hook shutting and trying to trap in that Lycan, but it's misery in the top lane. He's finally done it, broken through one lane of Rex. Big Daddy on the TP out, everyone from Cloud9 scattering. And they've outmaneuvered BG a bit here. They get the lion kill, they trade an axe, but they get that first much needed lane BG. of rags. The wolf is like the sixth hero of Cloud9. Eh. Alright, so what, what do you do now if you're Cloud9? Do you just go bottom, drop double serpent wards, and. Okay, tornado MP. They're gonna go on Xiao 8. He gets hex, hook shot now coming on to Bone 7. The send pack was already used by Big Daddy. Will it be in time? Hand of God. Not enough, but the wards come out. That's number one. Misery has the refresher. Does he go for the double ward drop? He's maybe. Just gonna back off here. The ward's almost instantly cleaned up. He's swinging around. I think he's gonna wrap all the way to the southern lane. If he can, even blinks into the radiant towards the radiant well as BG continue to fight it out on the front lines. That shaman just gonna TP home in the end. Xiaowei engaging. And now the wolves gonna back off together with Fada, but Xiaowei's on the chase. Slowly working onto that axe. And Lanham threatening for a blink forward. He's waiting in the creep camp. They're going to hex him as well. Creeps are marching on the top side of the map. The Chen creeps are maybe looking for a bit of a rat play, but Fada just continues to get worked down. He has the cheese, but if this ice blast hits him, oh, it does. No chance to You've use kinda it. You've kind of got to be worried if you're a Cloud9 fan, even going into the next game, because if, if they can't close out this game, it's not going to get easier than this. The next game, Misery might be on the receiving end here too. He's going to die. Oh, doesn't even get close to the base. That means no chance to drop the double wards now, though. Everybody else forced to retreat. The stone. Gaze used is burning.
Cloning tries to hold the line here, but he's very far back from the rest of C9. He can't get a quick kill where C9 can. They bring down two. Now they're looking for burning. They get the Blake call. Deputy Blast to disable him. He's losing a lot of mana. These Necro books chased back. I don't know if they want to commit too much further. The double buyback comes out. Now C9 just won a turn of retreat, but a hook shot. Oh, the wolves block him. It was the downfall of RTK's Roche counter gank attempt earlier. And Caster's curse. Yeah. Bone 7 trying to get an angle. There is a uh -oh. gem on Lana. This is a really awkward position to be caught in. EMP Tornado coming out. Hitting on Burning. He'll be four step back. They really want to retreat as the TP comes in from Fada. They go on to Shao immediately. He doesn't get off his BKB. Stonegate's coming out though. C9 could get trapped here. Turtle Envy taking a decent amount of arrow damage, but able to just stand his ground. BKB not good enough. Fada will fall. The rest of BG healthy. EE chasing onward, but he can't commit to a target now. He's going to be losing. They force staff him, but it's not far enough back. Burning, working his way through the creep wave, and the rat is commencing. Ward's being dropped, but quickly cleaned up. Misery will die. They've lost the axe. They've lost the shadow shop, and Burning just won't fall. Eternal Envy going to lose the Aegis. BG, hang on again. It's another Aegis. How many more does C9 need? They just can't break this pace. Now the Hex, if they have it in pale, he's donezo. Eternal Envy trying to run. Do they get the send back or anything no to keep him alive? Hookshot coming out. Big Daddy can't save him. He's cogged back. We've seen this movie before. C9 does not like how it Looks ends. Looks like it will go down. It will. Now a hookshot from RTK. Push out the creep wave. In fact, they may be able to force out a buyback here on that Evoker if they want. They're going to push right down mid. Butterfly claim by the raid boss. Medusa now getting to that point. He that has one kill. That, right? Oh my. So much gold in their pockets. He got boots of travel too. Yes. And he has buyback apparently. Xiao Wei also sitting on it. Buybacks are decent here for the Radiant Squad. They're going to clear out the wave. And C9 may be forced to use their invoker buyback. In fact, BG, they've pushed out the top lane. They're going to go for high ground. 51 minutes in. They're leaving the base. They're getting aggressive. C9, the ones forced to play defense. They'll glyph. But this Bristleback starts to hit quite hard. It won't be long before the Tier 3 falls. Do C9 buy back on the Invoker? Do they look to defend? Xiao Wei constantly spamming the Quills. The tower down, Invoker buys back. Do they run? Or do they feel confident enough to stand their ground? They have the BOT buyback on Burning. Hex to start onto Xiao Wei. EMP coming out. He'll try to scatter. They force staff him again, so the Mana Burn will hit him. And now they go back in on Fada. Well, they build a bring Fada down. A good Deafening Blast keeps Burning from fighting. But Omanta, and wait for this dead. Now the Stogaze as Eternal Envy engages. They've lost only an Ancient Apparition. The wards were dropped defensively. That means they can't be used to break the space, and Eternal Envy will fall once more. He has a buyback. 90 seconds on the sidelines. BG not backing down from this push. Yeah, wait. Will, for the time being, stay alive. He dies now, has a buyback if he wants to use it. Burning left alone for the time being. They're not using that Bristle buyback, and he fights his way through it. Now he will, but he's surrounded and getting focused very heavily. Burning's overextended. There's your chop from C9. They get the counter kill. Medusa dead for 110 seconds. My game plan Look at well. Burning. This is such a mind game. It's not working, though. Is it a mind game? He's getting called for now. Ward's trapping and surrounding him. He still gazes. He's killing them all quickly. They're going to lose misery. He has run out of mana, though. They need a way to keep burning safe. This could end up going disastrously. The dunk attempted. It's not going to succeed, but they get the kill on the Medusa. Cloud9 are fighting head on, though. They're not looking for any sort of backdoor play. They TP and Fada immediately while Xiao Wei dives. Can he do it? Basically solo. He gets called. He's being focused for now. The ice wall dropped to try and prevent him from retreating. Have BG just start to throw away the lead the deuce on the sidelines for a hundred seconds no buyback available gem hitting the deck bg this could be a crucial mistake that cost them nice do get out shall wait still scattering backwards land i'm going in for a big play the ice blast gonna end him invoker on the sidelines for 90 another impale from lanham he's stalling beautifully here on the little lion that could but they have no bristle for 100 no dusa for 60 bg now the backs against the wall they'll drop the war they'll drop the cogs everything in their power to slow down this oncoming push but creeps have breached the top they'll have to defend that ee -E is getting ready to push in. This might be two, if not three lanes of Rex. Lion has level three finger ready. They have Ice Blast again soon. That could, ki that could kill off the Axe, just those two abilities alone. He's it's got 1,800, 1,600 health here, actually. Standing strong in the front lines is the Goblin. And you can tell C9 don't want to go in. He is going to get caught. He BKBs quickly. Now they have to back off. They turn their attention towards Fada, but not the best focus fire coming out for BG. They oh, finger, no. but he BKB dodges the finger. Oh, this could be bad. RTK dead. He has a buyback. Dusa up at 20. They got to take objectives, but there's a glyph. C9. Nothing comes easy for them this game. The TP out right now. Misery Blinky back. Does he have any wards to bring to bear? It doesn't look like it right now. Not dropping anything. Another hook shot. 
RTK stalling for all his worth. The Turtle Envy now trying to finish off a melee Rex. Courier dropping to the midst of this, while Misery will begin the rat mid. He doesn't have mana for the second set of wards. He will soon, but he uses the nuke instead, so now it's just the one set. But they're about to get mega. Now C9 just need to get the hell out of Turtle Envy in shatter range, nearly blink forward. They'll bring him down. He doesn't have buyback. Two minutes on the Selling sideline. Selling the Morbid Mask and buying a rapier here and just trying to go down mid. He's currently split pushing top as he has the boots of travel available. Even if Misery p blinks in mid and gets the second set of wards down. They're going to BOT and birdie mid. It looks like they're going for it. Eternal He's going to go. Oh, He's rapier time. I've seen this Here before. we go. The last time I've he did it, before. it was a miracle for PG. That was it could be the play that? again. Was that Vici Gaming? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. We'll talk about it later. For now, it's Melee Rex being focused, burning, dodging away from a tornado. Doesn't want to get hit by the CMP, but meanwhile, it's Misery. And through the top lane, he's going to try to Mega them. Maybe he should be going Throne, though, because that's where BG seem to be focused. Killing off, for now, a few summons, and going directly for Tier 4s. Can they do this fast enough? They're TPing to the Chen. He's going to bring in the creeps. This one goes down to the wire. PG, all or no. nothing on the Throne. Oh my God, the the Gloom coming out for the Dire. They hold the line, for now, as Meanwhile, the Radiant Throne starting to be in trouble. The Dire Throne drops low. It's almost dead. Can they get it in time? Does C9 have this? No! no BG! <laughs> what an incredible turn of events. Oh my and now God. C9, their confidence has to be crumbling. Oh my. What a way to lose. Well, Sin, you said if they lost like that, it'd be 2-0 for BG.